videos got demonetized on account of their subject matter. And since I am only in this for the money, I wanted to set off this next season with a movie about simple life on a simple farm and the love and heartache that takes place there within. Vase de Noche, better known as The Pig Fucking Movie, or Wedding Trough, which is somehow the worst name. The movie starts and you know it's an art film. You can tell by the doll head. And the soundtrack. Pig molestation sounds like this. Not quite as bad as the sound of eating. It's raw. And irreverent. Inspired by the works of Pasolini, according to the director who we'll talk about shortly. Well, I already committed to making this video, so no turning back now. The movie delivers as promised. You think it's gonna be a one night stand, but hey, the two really hit it off. It's kinda cute. They do everything together. What am I looking at? Soon enough, the happy couple has a drift of piglets. And this chick ain't digging it. Dad celebrates by flying the paternal kite for about 17 hours. This film never got a theatrical or a VHS release, making it really hard to find up until about 2009 when it came out on DVD. But for me, it was a random find in a chiller theater convention. I saw this crappy bootleg DVD. I guess the title must have piqued my teenage interest. Brought it home and watched it maybe once, and I think I threw it out. It just wasn't worth having to explain to people. Not much can be said about the production, other than it creates a consistently bleak atmosphere. Some people consider it to be the apocalypse, but I just think this is a true, middle-of-nowhere film, born and raised. If anything allows you to enjoy it, it's the idea that every film is in some way a documentary, documenting a certain time and space revolving around a certain camera lens. Look at this fucking guy. Wait, what's he eating? Director Thierry Zeno went on to start the video program at this school, he ended up making a handful of films, docs, and installations before his death in 2017. Besides Vase de Noche, his most notable work is probably De Mort, which is one of the more noble entries of the shockumentary genre, specifically dealing with death. Honestly, it's a better watch than the pig fucking movie, which is about an hour too long. But I'm not here to call a movie a bad movie or say it's so good it's bad or so bad it's good or tell you how to feel about it at all. No, I started this YouTube channel to celebrate the far reaches of a film obsession that only a film school reject that never got laid could attend. <laughs> That'll do, Pig. That'll do. I'm not willing to spend any more time on that song. Hey guys, thinking about making your own movie? Who isn't? Check out our podcast, The Cinematic Pursuit. Available on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, and Simplecast. We talk to filmmakers about their journey from dreams to distribution in painstaking detail. It is invaluable information and way more free than film school.